Welcome to Edinov's practical session of Ohm's law. In this session, we will verify Ohm's law by plotting R versus cot theta graph, where R is resistance and theta is the deflection in the tangent galvanometer. Aim to verify Ohm's law by plotting R cot theta graph and to determine internal resistance of a battery and galvanometer. Apparatus: tangent galvanometer. commutator battery eliminator resistance box of range 0 to 50 ohms spirit level and connecting wires a tangent galvanometer consists of a circular coil mounted vertically on a metal box A circular coil is capable of rotation about vertical axis. The coil of wire has terminals at the base of the instrument. They are 2, 50 and 500 respectively. At the center of the coil, a box magnetometer compass box is mounted. It is also capable of rotating about vertical axis. The base of the instrument is provided with Three leveling screws. Principle: Tangent galvanometer is an instrument that works on the principle of tangent law in magnetism. B is equal to B H tan theta, where B is equal to magnetic field of the induction due to the current flowing in the coil of the tangent galvanometer. B H is equal to horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field of induction. Theta is equal to angle subtended by the magnetic needle now the tangent galvanometer is made to be perfectly horizontal by means of a spirit level place the spirit level on the compass box so that it is parallel to the line joining any two leveling screws The bubble in the spirit level should be in the center. The spirit level is turned 90 degrees in line with the third screw. It is again adjusted. so that the bubble is again at the center thus the tangent galvanometer is made horizontal the plane of the circular coil made parallel to the magnetic needle then the compass box is rotated to make the aluminum pointer read 0 0 so these are the adjustment to be made before conducting the experiment Well, let me take you through the step by step procedure to perform the experiment. First, we need to connect the apparatus as per the circuit diagram. So, let us make the connections. Connect the positive terminal of the power supply to one end of the resistance box. from the other end of the resistance box to one end of the commutator from the opposite end of the commutator to one end of the plug key and 
from the other end of the plug key to the negative terminal of the power supply. Finally, we connect the tangent galvanometer across the other two ends of the commutator. Here we have completed the connections as per the circuit diagram. Now let me summarize the connections for you. Here positive terminal of the power supply is connected to one end of the resistance box. And from the other end of the resistance box is connected to one end of the commutator. From the opposite end of the commutator connected to one end of the plug key from the other end of the plug key connected to the negative terminal of the power supply and tangent galvanometer is connected across the other two ends of the commutator. After making the connections as per the circuit diagram, we need to make the necessary adjustments to the tangent galvanometer. So, let us see the adjustments. Now, the tangent galvanometer is made to be perfectly horizontal by means of a spirit level. Place the spirit level on the compass box so that it is parallel to the line joining any two leveling screws. The bubble in the spirit level should be in the center. The spirit level is turned 90 degrees in line with the third screw. It is again adjusted. So that the bubble is again at the center. Thus, the tangent galvanometer is made horizontal. The plane of the circular coil made parallel to the magnetic needle. Then, the compass box is rotated to make the aluminum pointer read 0, 0. So, these are the adjustments to be made before conducting the experiment. After making the necessary adjustments to the tangent galvanometer, introduce some resistance in the resistance box and close the circuit.
here as current passes through the tangent galvanometer it shows some deflection adjust the value of resistance in such a way that the deflection in the tangent galvanometer is between 30 to 60 degrees here the resistance in the resistance box is 40 ohms note this value as r and the corresponding deflections in the tangent galvanometer are 55 degrees and 58 degrees note this deflections as theta 1 and theta 2 after that we reverse the direction of current through the tangent galvanometer using the commutator. Here the deflections are 51 degrees and 51 degrees. Now we calculate the value of average deflection theta and then we find tan theta and cot theta and we note down these values in the observation table. For more observations, we repeat the same procedure for different values of r and in each case we find theta, tan theta and cot theta. For a resistance of 40 ohm in the resistance box, the deflection in the tangent galvanometer theta 1 and theta 2 are 55 degrees and 58 degrees. And when you reverse the direction of current for the same resistance, the deflection in the tangent galvanometer theta 3 and theta 4 are 51 degrees and 51 degrees. The mean value theta is 53.75 degrees. The tan value of theta is 1.36 and cot value of theta is 0.73. Similarly, the readings for the different values of resistance are Using the values of R and cot theta from the observation table, we plot R versus cot theta graph and from the graph we find value of B plus G where B is internal resistance of the battery and G is the resistance of the tangent galvanometer. Now, we plot R cot theta graph by considering the values of resistance R on x axis and cot theta on y axis. The graph comes out to be a straight line and it cuts the x-axis at point A. The intercept OA represents the internal resistance of battery and the galvanometer B plus G which is 4 ohms. After obtaining the value of B plus G, we calculate the values of R plus B plus G and R plus B plus G into tan theta in each case. Here, you can observe that R plus B plus G into tan theta is almost similar in each case and the R cot theta graph is a straight line. Hence, Ohm's law is verified. From the observation table, we can notice that the product of R plus B plus G and tan theta is almost constant in each case. Hence, Ohm's law is verified. Precautions. Note on the deflections without any parallax error. The deflections should lie between 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Once the tangent galvanometer is adjusted, it should not be disturbed. Magnetic substances should not be placed near the tangent galvanometer. Now, you are able to verify Ohm's law from R cot theta graph 
without any doubt or hesitation thank you for watching this video